Hello everyone, my name is Monique Morrow and I'm very very glad to be here once again and talk to you a little bit about my last blog which was posted on May 21st, uh, 2018. And it was really with the subject of uh, refugees and and migrants and uh, people who, who really are have been challenged uh, with regard to circumstances that have uh, specific to refugees beyond their control to, um, to move uh, from one land to another land. And uh, it could be because of situations as war or because of uh, situations that uh, where they really feel that their lives are in, uh, in peril. Now, you know that we have refugees and we have uh, migrants and we have so-called stateless people. And I think the whole thing around categories of people is that what propels a person or individuals to move where they need to think about having another opportunity. And usually it is because of, of war. It usually is because of disaster. And I had the uh, opportunity in early May to actually uh, visit with uh, some refugee families and with refugees in the Zatari camp and also uh, with uh, people in Amman, Jordan. We know that there is a polarity between unemployment in, in a country and also trying to provide opportunities uh, for people who are in a state where they no longer can go back at this point in time to where they came from because of, of war and disaster. The people I've met uh, have been extraordinary individuals, and they do want their life to go, lives to go on. And they are very focused on education. They're very focused on uh, looking at the opportunity to either rebuild their countries and or to be resettled to countries that will be open to, to them for their skill sets. And so we need to think about, it's not just what the opportunities of technology can do, to facilitate this process, but it is more of a human nature and to think about what would happen if it were you, if it were you that uh, one day you wake up and you would become that individual that would have to flee because of these perils, perilous circumstances. So I challenge each and every one of you to be creative as to how could we now think about um, using these skill sets of individuals uh, who really are looking to apply their skill sets for the dignity uh, of themselves and um, to be able to contribute to the societies who have accepted them and the societies who will accept them in addition to using the same sets of technologies to build up a, a workforce in countries uh, like Jordan or in other countries per, per se. So we are living in very extraordinary times but Remember one thing, one day you could wake up and it could be you. What would you do?